Hey. Hey guys, looking to start a business in about two weeks and start making that money by starting an easy business? If so, listen up. Think of this video as a guide slash template and not as a definitive best way to operate on these platforms that we'll be talking about. This is just my way of doing things at the moment. Without further ado, the business that I find the easiest to start is a car rental service on Turo slash get around. To gain some good fundamentals and how to run a business, if you got the end this. That's brown people for the understand. <laughs> a car that you are not relying on that's no older than 2005, as of the recording of this video, uh, so have... <laughs> can you get another shot? <laughs> yeah, like, can you see my ass? <laughs> you can. <laughs> has to have less than 125,000 miles, preferably 100,000 miles. Clean title, has to be mechanically sound, and let's not forget, it has to look a little bit sense. Recommendation, a $7,000 Asian sedan, aka Honda, Hyundai, Mazda, get it. And if you don't have $7,000 to start with, uh, which I recommend again, uh, then start exercising that money saving skills and, you know, part of the skills you gotta like build up in order to start saving stuff. stuff. Look at the dog! <laughs> Either way, it's a good way to start um, getting creative and how you manage money and uh, figuring things out. All right, duties that involve running this kind of business requires on flaky customer service, organization skills, basic car maintenance, i.e. Damn it, Ollie! Basic car maintenance, uh, i.e. oil changes and inspecting the car every time it gets rented out and uh, cleaning the car up. That's it. Ollie! Bye! Get your mouth Hey, little monkey. Get the hell out of my car. Put it in my face. Oh, this is awkward. Process. This is what the process would look like if you were to do it. You're home, comfy, doing whatever. And then at some point in the day, you're gonna get a request from Turo Get Around, depending who you're working with. And you're gonna see a request from Bob or Pepe or whoever, and you're gonna see the request for the amount of days and a little bit of a description of who they are and see how long they're gonna rent your car for. And right there, you're gonna have a decision depending on which platform you're working on if you want to approve or deny it. It's up to you. But I'm gonna assume that you wanna make money and want to do business so you say yes <coughs> <coughs> let's just say you did and all you have to do is literally go outside go look at your car make sure it's not all sorts of messed up and God knows what make sure the tank is full make sure it's there and make sure it's just not dirty and finally, when the person that decides to rent your car shows up to, to the location where you specified uh, to you know, turn in the keys, like all you gotta do is just verify who they are, take a few pictures, like six, and you're good to go. Just give them the keys and just make some money. Finally, when their rental's done, they return it back to you and then you do it all over again. Make sure you drive the car every once in a while to see what, if there's any problems, just anything abnormal, and if so, then you know, just talk to your mechanic or whatever. But note, there are some key differences between Turo and Get Around that are a little bit different on how the whole process works, but it's roughly the same. If the car got rented out for 25 days out of the month, I'd make around after taxes, 
it would be around 560. No, taxes is around 30% of what we make. Sucks, I know, <sighs> taxes. They don't take that money, obviously, when uh, they give you this money. They take it at the end of the year, so make sure you stack up on that and uh, you save accordingly. So set that money aside, but, 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 now I guess. Check this out. There's these things. There's these things called write offs. It's for businesses and independent contractors. Let's say you buy uh, a whole bunch of gas, right? And it's $100, right? So what would happen is, is that they would not tax you for $100. So they would simply take those hundred dollars out of your taxes that you have to pay. So at the end of the year, you only have to pay two hundred dollars. I think that makes sense. Just look at some other YouTube video if they don't understand. So, at, so basically, at the end of the day, um, a month after all that process is done, I still make around seven to six hundred dollars in net profit. Be good? Be good, okay. But that's not including all my expenses, but I don't really have any expenses because the car pays it all off, so. Yeah. I'm just trying to help you guys. Now, for reinsurance, do not be scared of renting out your car because with the insurance that you should have on your car when you're renting out on these platforms, you're also covered by uh, Get Around Turo's uh, insurance, which is like a million dollars. Like whether it, your car gets stolen, if seats get messed up, or just about anything, you're good. Again, this is my way of doing things. If you have a better way, good on you. And holla at your boy, because uh, I want to know stuff too. So if you guys are ready to get started on any of these platforms, or are in, or or are interested in renting cars out with them or renting cars out yourself, I have left some links in the description down below. So yeah, so throw a few bucks my way, get a discount, what I'm saying? I'm a whore, I don't know what to tell you. I want money, but if you help me out, then cool. come on man, I got these links, man. I'll suck you. Well, there you have it, uh, pretty easy business to start. Um, like, share, subscribe. Have a good one. Fun fact, I don't know why it took me so long to make this script. It took me about damn near a month. It only took me a day to make...